In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your calculator, your TI Inspire non-CAS, to uh, type in a function and evaluate that function so you can use it for explicit definitions of sequences. So this is going to be done in a calculator page. I always recommend that you use the document side of your calculator. So add a new document. Don't save over whatever is open unless you want to. And then add a calculator page. Underneath menu, actions, you should select define. And here we can just define any function that we want by typing it in f parentheses x, right? We're going to use function notation. Equals, and notice I'm using the equal sign, which is underneath the control button. And let's just make up a function. How about 2x minus 5? Okay. And then when I hit enter, it says done. That means that it's stored the function as f. If I now want to plug something into that function, like f of 28, um, I would plug in 28. But rather than doing it manually, I can type F. Notice how it shows up as a bold letter that's non-italicized. That's because it's stored in the memory of the calculator as a function. If I typed in any other letter at this point, like G, it'll just stay as a regular non-bold italicized letter. So when I type in F, it's bold. That tells me that it knows what the function is. And if I type in 28, close the parentheses and hit enter, it's actually evaluating the function. It's plugging 28 right into it. So I can figure out, you know, f of 100, it's going to plug 100 into the function, and so on. So this is a really useful feature of your calculator. It's going to come up again and again um, if you're on a calculator section of the test that you can just type in a function and evaluate it for any value. Now, this is going to be helpful for explicit definitions of sequences, because let's say I want to find the 50th term or the 100th term. If you have the explicit definition, all you need to do is put that function in, and then you can evaluate the function um, to figure out a whole number of terms, you know, any term you want. So let's say um, we'll use the example that we had in our um, notes. I'm going to insert a new page. So just we're on a fresh page of this document, another calculator page. I'm going to go to Menu, Actions, Define. Now, it doesn't like the sequence notation that we use in our notes, so we need to type it in function notation. Now, we had B sub N. So here we're just going to call it b of n. So we're going to switch back to regular function notation for this. The one that we had in our notes was 2 minus, and then there was a fraction. A few places you can find the fraction template on here. I clicked on the button next to the 9. That's where I got my function, I mean my uh, fraction template. I think it was 1 over n squared. So we type in the function 1 over n squared, or 2 minus 1 over n squared. Hit enter. Okay, now it has this one stored as b. So if I wanted to evaluate the first through fifth terms, right, the first five terms of this, I just have to type B1, B of 2, B of 3, B of 4, and so on, B of 5. And since you took notes on this and did it manually, you know that all of these numbers are correct. We actually did plug in these numbers to the function, and these are the values we got. If I wanted to get the 50th term, I would just plug in B of 50. So this is really useful if you have to evaluate a function for multiple different inputs. Um, if you're just plugging in one input, it doesn't save you any time to do it this way, but for sequences, you often want multiple inputs, so it can be a useful little trick to know. And that's it.